Last year, we talked about a situation that was going on in Tennessee where these people were putting together this funeral procession for unborn babies, and, and uh, it got a lot bigger than they thought it was going to get, and it and, and had a really good response oh, to yeah. it. You know, and a lot of things like this happen in the pro-life movement that are kind of one-time deals. They happen, and they work, and people then do go on to do something else. That's not the case here, and... Um, That's already been a year? It's been a year. I can't believe it. We get, get old, man. Your time whistles past, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to bring in here now Aaron Jones, who was with us uh, originally, who's the guy who started this idea. He's the uh, pastor at Trinity Chapel in Knoxville. Hello, Aaron. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Just fine, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing great today. Well, we hear now that uh, this thing has gone into a second year. Yes. And uh, that it actually got bigger the second time than the first. Yeah. Um, well, uh, the way it got bigger was we have uh, we had four other cities. Um, participate at the same time in their respective cities, and they did a funeral procession themselves. Our procession, um, uh, we had 300 cars last year. We had 300 cars this year, but we also added three more hearses. So uh, we had four hearses in the front of the procession. Um, now, the hearses three, don't actually contain a, a, a body of a baby, do they? No, no, it's just uh, symbolic. symbolism. Yeah. And, um, and then we had the 300 cars. Uh, but we had uh, other cities uh, through through local churches, um, and, and they uh, had their own procession of healing, too. Wow. Are you getting any feedback from the public over either last year's event or this year's? Um, yeah, we, uh, we, it's, it, it was a little, I think because last year it was new, our local uh, news coverage uh, was a little bit, actually, uh, a little, it covered more last year. This year, um, I don't know if it's because it's not an election year. Last year was an election year, um, but we, it was a little bit less coverage. Uh, but we're, we're real happy because, like I said, we had uh, Johnson City, Tennessee, Miami, Florida. We had Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Franklin, North Carolina. They all did their own procession. And, um, and so, uh, what we're excited about is the fact that it's coming from local churches, and where local churches are starting to uh, get active. You know, some churches are doing things already. Many churches don't do a thing, and their pastors, you know, are, are just don't know what to do, um, or um, even they're afraid to talk about it. And so, you know, we've as we've gone along with this thing, we've found out that the procession of healing is something that um, enables or equips a church to do something in their local city about abortion. Right. At least gets, gets them involved somehow. Yeah. Have you had Absolutely. any protesters? You know what? We did not. Uh, we do not have protesters. We have actually, um, I think one of the reasons why is because it's a funeral procession. And I'm on, on, online with bloggers, we get stuff all day long. I got people out there hating my guts right now. And, and that's, you, you know, that's okay. Right. That's fine. Yeah, that's good time. And, um, you know, I, I think it, unless you don't have, if you don't have somebody hating you out there, you're not doing anything. Yeah, but, anything. Um, right. but, uh, and so, but like, as the day goes, uh, we don't, we didn't have anything. Um, uh, we didn't have any protesters. I think it's because it's a funeral. I think some way, somehow it kind of disarms them from coming out and doing something. Well, at least people in the public are seeing it. We're, I don't care how we do it. We've got to keep the abortion issue in yeah. front of the American people. And right. And, I, and for us, one of the biggest things, we've got to start getting the abortion issue back in the church. I mean, the church. If it's ever been to start you know, with. If, if it's ever me. been to start with. And, like, we, we don't point our finger. I mean, three years ago, our church was doing nothing. We were against abortion, but we, were, we weren't doing anything. And then the Lord really woke us up and, and, and just opened our eyes. And so now, you know, like I said, we had our funeral procession last year. And this year we had it in five other cities, and I'm getting testimonies from these churches, what, how it's, what it's done in their church and the fact that the healing it's brought. One lady who, was, uh, who uh, was kind of part of getting the whole thing together in her church, she actually was one who had an abortion. Wow. But the Lord really, through it, really healed her and brought real closure for her. And so, I mean, it, just the fact that it's getting in these local churches and out, and, and then they're doing something in their city. I mean, you know, it, it's just a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, brother Aaron, why did you add three more hearses? Well, we, well, last year we wanted 30 hearses because we have 3,000 
abortions in Knox County every year. And so, but then last year we, we had 14 promise, and, uh, and then uh, someone wrote an article in our paper and uh, scared them all off. But we did have one hearse last year, but this year we had four. We just wanted as many hearses as possible because of how unique it just looks right. as it's going down the road. Right. Well, listen, Aaron, um, other cities that want to get involved, we, we put this out last year, and I want to do it again. You have a website. Give us that website real quick. Right. It's just processionofhealing.com. Processionofhealing.com. Yeah, and then when you go there, there's a, like a button for contact, and you okay. can just click on that, and then that will lead you. And you'd be willing to continue to help other cities set this up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's what we, we love that. That's what we want to do. Well, good. Well, thanks for joining us, and, and good luck with it. It's a, it's a really interesting and innovative idea. Thank, Thank you. you guys so much. Thank you, Thank you. sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.